Hi everyone. The frigate Hercules is a historical ship closely tied to the life of William Brown, the founder of the Argentine Navy and a national hero of Argentina. Hercules played a pivotal role in South America's War of Independence in the early 19th century. Its story is filled with battles, strategic maneuvers, and dramatic events. The frigate Hercules was built in Britain in the 1790s as a commercial vessel designed for long voyages. However, its robust construction and maneuverability made it suitable for military use. In early 1814, William Brown, an Irish immigrant who became a naval commander in the nascent Argentine Republic, acquired the ship for use in the fight against the Spanish Navy. The 149 men crew was composed of 14 naval officers, 87 soldiers and 42 countrymen. This powerful 350 tons warship had 38 meters length and 5,8 meters depth of hold. She had two decks. Admiral Brown's cabin was under the spar deck. Under Brown's command, the Hercules was refitted and armed as a warship. On the beginning the frigate was armed with four cannons of 24, 8 of 18, 12 of 8, 6 of 6 and 6 stone mortars. She was later armed with four long cannons of 24, 8 of 18, 12 of 12, 6 of 9, 6 of 6, and 6 stone mortars. This summed up 42 pieces. By 1814 to 1815, the Hercules was sheathed with copper in La Ensenada. The frigate Hercules participated in numerous naval operations, including coastal blockades and attacks on Spanish merchant vessels. Among these, the Battle of Martín García in March 1814 stands out as one of the most significant engagements. This strategic encounter marked a turning point in the Argentine fight for independence, showcasing the tactical brilliance of William Brown and the emerging strength of the Argentine fleet. Martín García Island, located at the confluence of the Paraná and Uruguay rivers in the Rio de la Plata basin, was of immense strategic importance. Control over the island meant dominance over vital waterways used for trade and military supply routes. The Spanish forces stationed there had fortified the island, turning it into a stronghold that hindered the Revolutionary Army's efforts to secure the region. William Brown, commanding the fledgling Argentine Navy with Hercules as his flagship, recognized the island's significance. He devised a bold plan to seize Martín García and break Spanish control over the river system. The operation began with a coordinated assault involving naval bombardments and amphibious landings. Hercules, armed with its 38 guns, took the lead in bombarding Spanish fortifications on the island. Despite facing well-entrenched defenses, Brown's fleet maintained relentless fire, forcing the Spanish to divert resources and attention to defending their positions. Simultaneously, Brown orchestrated a landing of troops under heavy cover from the fleet. The land forces faced fierce resistance from the Spanish garrison, resulting in intense close quarters combat. Brown's personal leadership and the coordination between the Navy and land forces proved decisive. After a protracted battle, the Spanish defenders were overwhelmed, and Martín García fell into Argentine hands. The victory secured control over the Rio de la Plata's key waterways, allowing the Revolutionary Army to establish critical supply routes. This achievement bolstered morale among the revolutionaries and dealt a severe blow to Spanish control in the region. As Brown's flagship, Hercules was instrumental in the operation. Its superior firepower and maneuverability provided essential support during the bombardment and landings. 
The ship's performance at Martin Garcia demonstrated the effectiveness of the Argentine Navy under Brown's command, solidifying his reputation as a master tactician. The Battle of Martin Garcia remains a celebrated chapter in Argentina's naval history, with Hercules at its center. In May 1814, Hercules played a crucial role in one of the most famous operations, the blockade of Montevideo. This operation was a turning point in the war, as it deprived Spanish forces of a key stronghold on South America's eastern coast. This victory solidified William Brown's reputation as a national hero. After the primary hostilities ended, the frigate continued to be used in operations defending Argentine sovereignty. Two hypotheses were made about the final days of the frigate. According to the Courier of London, the 4th of April 1817, the ship was auctioned in Antigua and became part of Venezuelan Admiral Brion's fleet. According to the Evening Post of New York, the 5th of August 1818, the Hercules arrived to Havana from Antigua and was sold there. The frigate Hercules remains a symbol of William Brown's courage and strategic brilliance. Its story is a vital part of Argentina's fight for independence, and its legacy is preserved in museums and monuments dedicated to Brown. Thanks for watching.